Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this system of three equations with three variables as you can see over here and we are going to solve for x, y and z. And here's a system of equations x squared plus xy plus xz equals to 18 and the second equation is y squared plus xy plus yz equals to negative 12 and finally z squared plus xz plus yz equal to 30. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one. The second one I am going to call number two and finally equation number three I'm going to call number three. Now let's go ahead and focus on this equation one and here I have just copied it down as you can see over here and as we can see on the left hand side of this equation x is in common so I can factor x out so in the parentheses it's going to be x plus y plus z equal to 18 all right now let's go ahead and isolate this x plus y plus z part. So therefore I am going to divide both sides by x. Here x and x is gone. So on the left hand side we got simply x plus y plus z turns out to be 18 over x and let me just put a 1 underneath this on the left hand side as well so we got these two fractions on both sides let's go ahead and flip it over take the reciprocal on the left hand side this is going to simply become 1 over x plus y plus z and we're going to flip the right hand side over so that's going to become x over 18. And here I have just copied it down. Let me go ahead and call this equation number 4. Here is our next step. Let's focus on this equation number 2. And here I have just copied it down over here y squared plus xy plus xz equal to negative 12. As you can see on the left hand side y is in common so I can factor out y. So that's going to become y plus x plus z equal to negative 12 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by y so this y and y cancels out so we ended up with the I can just write this one as this one in parentheses x plus y plus z equal to negative 12 over y and now let's put 1 underneath this x plus y plus z to make it a fraction and now we can see we have a fraction on both sides let's flip it over so we can write this one 1 over x plus y plus z equal to y over negative 12 and here I have just copied down over here and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 5. And finally let's focus on this equation 3 which is right up here and we can see on the left hand side z is in common. So I can factor z outside in the parentheses we're going to have a z plus x plus y equal to 30. Let's divide both side by z on this side and z on this side z and z is gone so we ended up on the left hand side x plus y plus z equal to 30 divided by z let me just put a 1 underneath this x plus y plus z let's flip it over so i can write 1 over x plus y plus z equals to let's flip over this side as well so z over 30 
and I have just copied down on this side so I'm going to call equation number six and here is our next step let's focus on this equations four five and six and we can see the left hand side is same for all of these equations so that means all these ratios on the right hand side they are equal so I can write the right hand side x over 18 equal to y over negative 12 equal to z over 30. Now let me go ahead and set all these ratios equal to some constant k and here in the next step I have equated each ratio equal to k individually as you can see. So over here the first equation x over 18 equal to k that is if we multiply both sides by 18 so x is going to be simply 18 k so that is the first equation we got in terms of k that is going to become y equal to negative 12 k and finally this one is going to be z equal to 30 k here we got x y and z values in terms of k now we are going to find the value of k and now in this next step we are going to plug in this x y and z value in any one of these three equations let's pick the first one and here's our equation number one let's go ahead and fill in the blanks for x y and z value so that is going to give us 18 k square plus x in our case is 18 k times y is negative 12 k plus x in our case is 18 k times z is 30 k equals to 18 and here the first term 18 k squared I wrote down 18 times 18 and then put down k power 2 likewise 18 times negative 12 k times k is going to give us k squared likewise 18 plus 30 equal to k squared equal to 18 and now we can see that all these terms are divisible by 18 across the board let's go ahead and divide all the way by 18 across the board so this 18 and 18 is gone this is 18 and 18 is gone this one is gone so that's reduces to 1 so we simply got 18 k square minus 12 k square plus 30 k square and on the right hand side 18 divided by 18 is 1 on the left hand side if we simplify we got 36 k square equal to 1 let's divide both side by 36 so that means k square turns out to be 1 over 36 let's go ahead and take the square root to undo this square so that means our this k and this square and square root they undo each other so we got k equal to positive or negative square root of 1 is 1 square root of 36 is 6 so our k value turns out to be positive or negative 1 over 6 and now let's go ahead and pick k equal to positive 1 over 6 values and plug it in in all these x y and z equations so our first equation is x equal to 18 k so 18 times k we are going to replace it by 1 6 so 18 over 6 is going to give us x equal to positive 3 and now let's do y equal to negative 12 k equation let's replace k by 1 over 6 so that is going to give us y equal to negative 2 and finally we got z equal to 30k let's fill in the blanks 30 and k value is 
1 over 6 so that means z value turns out to be 5 so thus our one set of uh, solutions turns out to be x equal to 3 y equals to negative 2 and z equal to 5 and now we are going to pick the other value of k which is negative 1 over 6 and here we got our x equal to negative 3 y equal to 2 and z equal to negative 5 values after we put in k equal to negative 1 sixth value in these equations and here we got the second set of a solution and here are our two sets of solutions and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye